I'm Pablo. I'm Kelly. And uh, we're the directors of Nature Theater of Oklahoma. And we made uh, the Kindred of Jotun, and also we made uh, Bert Torito. Which will both be coming to ASPU. <laughs> and uh, we are from New York, even though we're called Nature Theater of Oklahoma. Uh, the name is took, taken from a uh, Franz Kafka novel, the, uh, the America at the end. And uh, yeah, with the, in, in the novel America, this, uh, the protagonist is looking for work and uh, he's an immigrant to the United States and he has a series of really horrible jobs and finally like follows this advertisement for the Nature Theater of Oklahoma who say that they will hire anyone regardless of their experience. And um, he goes off to join the theater and you never know how it ends. <laughs> um, but so we took this as a kind of aspiration and um, we, we do work with people who are not all trained in what they do. And, and we also try to push ourselves um, to do things that we're not trained or not permitted to do or have no, um, no, no professional um, credentials to do like opera or you know, we make a ballet, but maybe we don't know all the rules of making these things and we kind of learn as we go. Yeah, I mean, the book is kind of famously difficult. It's 666 pages and most of the characters are mute undead zombies. I mean, it's, it's basically a kind of ghost story where um, some of the characters don't realize they're dead. Um, you know, the, the dead of Austria start coming back into this resort town. Um, you know, like more and more people keep showing up at this gas house, more people than can even um, really be lodged there. And you, you gradually realize that, that everyone's dead and that, you know, there's um, something, something wrong in this gas house. So I guess that's like the kind of overall plot of it, but there are several subplots and, um, and then there are things that we put in it that have to do with the, the time in which we were making the movie and um, like the Syrian refugees that are in it are not in the, in the novel, but were kind of, um, yeah, a part of the time. And also my mother was, um, dying of cancer at the time that we were making this film and she kept uh, the chemotherapy was messing with her brain and she kept hearing that we were going to Styria and she heard Syria. So she also kept telling us to be very careful going to Syria. <laughs> and so this is also, you know, we just incorporated the, the, the movie is in a way a record of its own making as well as being um, you know, loosely based on the novel. It's also about the place. It's also about the time. It's also about kind of where we were in our lives at the time. And um, it contains all of its mistakes and anachronisms. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had shot a Super 8 film a long time ago. 25 years ago when when it was much cheaper and it, it was still easy easy to develop so in the in the beginning with when we were making films uh, as right out of uh, college and uh, so it was a it was a format that we loved but also it was a format that uh, in the very beginning was used as a as a home movie medium as an amateur amateur format where people would record the most beautiful uh, moments of their lives and then and then the film itself was you know especially in the book by Jelinek was uh, the the story was set in a place where it was a holiday it was a, a vacation it was a resort town a kind of a uh, so it was it was this uh, deconstructed, uh, dilapidated uh, home movie, vacation home movie, and uh, and uh, in a way it was it was another kind of restriction that we worked that we could not really check if we were doing if anything was even being recorded because the film when we were shooting it 
was had to be sent from Austria, had to be sent to Berlin to be developed. So we were shooting and we didn't know for two weeks, the first two weeks, if anything was even recorded. We had never, we had, we had not trusted the cameras. We, we didn't know anything every time, every night we would come back to the, to the guest house where we slept and just pray that, oh my God, I hope, I hope something is on this film because we were shooting at night with, with three lights and, and antique cameras, and antique, <laughs> antique cameras that, that maybe were not working at all. <laughs> And you can see also in the film that uh, one of the ca- we had two cameras, two same cameras. One of the cameras, the lens was uh, was misaligned, uh, so two thirds of the image is out of focus. But we had no idea. So there's there there's a so whatever I was whatever I was shooting was almost all of it was completely out of focus. And so then when we when we got the film back. Two, two weeks after we started shooting the first time, we were just like, oh my God, let's, let's hope there's something there. Uh, then we realized that my camera was, was broken, and, but we still needed two cameras. So every time I would shoot, then I would always frame the important stuff <laughs> on this side of the, of the frame to make sure that that, that is uh, recorded. But that, that, that became part of the aesthetic. You know that that it didn't it didn't matter. There were more important things that we were after than an image that's in focus. You know. Yeah, but I know also. I mean, we I like the some of the films that were the most inspiring to us were also shot on Super 8. You know, like a lot of the New York avant-garde filmmakers were using this medium because it was so cheap, and um, and and also like I, I used to collect movies of other people. And so you'd get this box, you know, you used to be able to go to the flea markets and get boxes of home movies. And then we would take them home and watch them together. And you'd realize that, you know, the only reason I probably have bought all these movies is because the family that owns them is dead or, you know, like there's footage of somebody's cat, the cat's probably dead. So it, it does have this kind of ghostly it's a ghostly medium. It's a dead medium for 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 the most part. I mean, nobody shoots Super 8 anymore, so it's this kind of amateur, old, dead medium, and it's it's a bit haunted when it goes through the camera. You know, you, it doesn't go perfectly, so there's flares and light leaks and things like that. So you kind of have to accept, and the and the whole novel is like that. I mean, it's a ghost story to to a certain extent. So it just seemed like the right uh, format for this. <laughs> Well, of course, enjoy the enjoy the film, but uh, also be be open to uh, watch films differently. Just like uh, we all have to embrace different ways of making films or making any kind of make, making any kind of art. You know, it's a, it's 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 not that we only have to change the way we make things, the way we make art, uh, which is something that we always always look for. You know, every every artist always looks for a for a new way of making making the work, but somehow we forget to watch differently and, and watch freshly and watch new with 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 fresh eyes and fresh minds and open open minds, uh, looking for new ways of perceiving, looking for new ways of of looking at at things. You know, which is ultimately what the what art, all of art, is about is 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 trying to change the way we see or change the way we perceive reality, not not so much change change the world. You know, we of of course everyone wants to change the world, and and uh, when when you when you work and you know, when you begin working, you you want to change the world or make the world a better place or 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 cure cancer with with art. But then then after a while, you realize that you you can't, and ultimately that that uh, you are very. Uh, uh, incompetent or or that somehow the work that you make is not is is irrelevant in this in this way the, but the best best thing you can do is is change the way we 
we look at things and change the way we think about things and change the way we see we see and hear and uh, perceive the world around us.